Kumusta kayong lahat? Welcome sa Math Storya. Samahan niyo ako sa bago nating topic, the probability of compound events. So these are the different formulas na gagamitin natin. So we we'll let A and B be the two events. Then for the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B for the independent events. And also this probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A for the dependent events. And this probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B for the mutually exclusive and also this probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B for mutually inclusive. So these are the different formulas na gagamitin natin. So we have this problem. So let X and Y be the two events. Then if the probability of X or Y is equal to 0 0.75, then for the probability of X is equal to 0 0.43 and the probability of X and Y is 0 0.27, then find the probability of Y. So using this formula, then substitute all the given since probability of X or Y is equal to 0 0.75 so we have 0 0.75 equals the probability of x that's 0 0.43 plus the probability of y this one is the unknown minus 0 0.27 for the probability of x and y then simplify so we have 0 0.75 equals so combine this 0 0.43 minus 0 0.27 so 0 0.43 minus 0 0.27 that's 0 0.16 so 0 0.16 plus the probability of y then to solve this probability of y so we need to transpose this 0 0.16 to the left that becomes negative 0 0.16 equals the probability of y. So the probability of y is equal to 0 0.75 minus 0 0.16. So 0 0.75 minus 0 0.16. That's 0 0.59. So this is the probability of y. Then for this given, so in a standard deck of 52 cards, what is the probability of getting either a face card or a spade? So first, we need to find the probability of this face card. Since in a deck of cards, we have 4 jacks, 4 queens, and 4 kings. So a total of 12 face cards. So the probability for this face card is 12 over 52. Then for the probability of spade, since there are 13 spades in a deck of cards, so the probability is 13 over 52. Then we also need to find this probability of face of spade, since in a deck of cards we have one jack spade and also one queen spade and one king spade so the probability now of this face of spade is 3 over 52 so to solve for this problem so since or so the probability of face or spade is equal to the probability of face plus the probability of spade minus the probability of face of spade so for the probability of face, that's 12 over 52, plus this probability of spade, that's 13 over 52, 
minus the probability of phase of spade, that's 3, over 52. So this probability of phase or spade now is equal to 12 plus 13, that's 25, minus 3, that's 22 over 52. Then we need to reduce divisible by 2. So the final answer now is 11 over 26. So this is the probability of getting either a face card or a spade. Then for this problem, so when a die is rolled, what is the probability of getting a prime number or a 4? Since the numbers in a die, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then we need to find first the probability of a prime numbers. So prime numbers are numbers that are divisible by 1 and itself. So from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are the prime numbers 2, 3, and 5 because 1 is not a prime number. So the probability now for these prime numbers we have 1, 2, 3, so 3 over 6. Then the probability of 4, since we only have 1, 4, so that's 1 over 6. Then to find out the probability of prime or 4, so we have the probability of prime plus the probability of 4, since probability of prime that's 3 over 6, plus 1 over 6 for the probability of 4, so the probability now of prime or 4 is 4 over 6. Then we need to reduce divisible by 2. So the final answer is 2 over 3. So this is now the probability of getting a prime number or 4. Then for this problem, so what is the probability of choosing a positive integers that is divisible by 4 and 5 between 100 to 999 inclusive. Since this 100 to 999 contains 900 integers, then we need to find the probability of a numbers divisible by 4 and divisible by 5. Since n, so we need to multiply these two numbers. 4 times 5, that's 20. And this 20 is divisible by 4 and divisible by 5. So we need to find how many 20s in 900. So divide this 900 by 20. The answer is 45. So therefore, the probability of a number divisible by 4 and divisible by 5 is 45 over 900. Then we need to reduce. So this 45 over 100 is equal to 1 over 20. So this is now the probability of choosing a positive integers that is divisible by 4 and divisible by 5 between 100 to 999. Then for this problem, so if 4 digit numbers are to be formed, from 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, so what is the probability that the number is an odd number? So first, we need to compute the total number of ways to arrange these five numbers to form a four-digit number. So these are the four-digit numbers. Since we have five uh, numbers, so the first number, we have five uh, choices. Then since we use one for this number, so the remaining numbers are 4, then 3, then 2. So just multiply all these numbers. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, that's 120. So there are 120 ways to arrange these 5 numbers to form a 4 digit numbers. Then since we need to find the probability that the number is odd, so to find out the number of ways that the number is odd, so we have these four digit numbers. Since all odd numbers, the last number is odd, so in the given numbers, so we only have two odd numbers, the 1 and 3. So therefore, the last digit 
we only have two possible numbers. So therefore, this one is two. Since we use one number to the last digit, so the remaining numbers, this one is four. Then three, then two. Then multiply all these numbers. So four times three times two times two. So the answer is 48. So therefore, the probability that the number is odd is 48 over 120. Then reduce. So that's 2 over 5. So this is now the probability that the number is odd. 2 over 5. Then for this problem, so there are 60 fruits in a basket. So 18 papayas, 22 bananas, and 20 guavas. So what is the probability that the fruit is either a papaya or a guapa? So first, we define the probability for papaya. So since we only have uh, 18 papayas, so the probability, that's 18 over 60. And for the probability of guava, since we have 20 guavas, so that's uh, 20 over 60. And to find now the probability of papaya or guava, so the probability of papaya plus the probability of the guava. So for the probability of papaya, that's 18 over 60, plus for the guava, that's 20 over 60. So the probability now for papaya or guava, that's 38 over 60, then reduce, that's 19 over 30. So this is now the probability of uh, papaya or the guava.